This is my housewife. It's made from material from the first dress that I, historical dress that I sewed. It ties up with a little ribbon and then you just untie it and then it unrolls. Here is a bit for pins. I put pins on both of those sides and then the middle I put needles. Then I've got scissors tied up and in this little pocket I keep thread on little spools because that's how they would store it historically for the time period that I'm working in. I also hide a seam ripper, a little piece of wax to wax my thread, got a thimble which I actually never use, and for some reason a silk buttonhole twist. It's a good compact little size. It can hold regular spools of thread too if I need it to and it just bundles up real nice. I can throw it in my bag, put it in my pocket. I take it with me quite often when I travel or go anywhere. Having the batting in the middle is really nice because then when I'm working and I'm pulling out pins a lot, instead of having to individually put them all in, I just stab it into this while I'm working and then when I'm done, I can put them all away. So let me show you how to make one of these. First thing you're gonna need is some fabric for the outside. I'm gonna make five kits here and so I'm gonna donate three to the fort for them to sell at their market table where they raise funds for clothes for people who haven't sewn their own yet to wear. So I'm going to make three out of historical fabric and then I'm going to make one to donate to the auction for the summer camp that I work at that's having a fundraiser online auction and then I'm going to make another one for my friend. Then you're going to need the fabric for the inside. I'm just using this unbleached muslin. Pretty simple stuff. For the middle, you're going to want some batting. Whatever you have on hand, if you have any on hand, is fine. This is just cotton. Might be polyester, I don't know. It's just lying around from when I made a quilt in the past. You also need some ribbon to tie up your uh, housewife there. Keep it shut. I've got some wider ones. For some reason, the pharmacy is where you buy ribbon on the island that I live on. And so this is... They had these wider ones there, not quite the colors I would typically choose, but you know, you can take what you get. And then when I was in Seattle the other week, I found somewhere that sells really thin ribbon. So I got some of those to hold the scissors on. At that store, I also picked up some felt. You're going to want to use wool felt if you can, because the wool felt will help the needles and pins to not tarnish. Then you also need little scissors scissors to put in the kit. I ordered a pack of five from Amazon. I can link it below. There was another golden pair of the Stork scissors, but I actually already made the sailboat kit for the camp auction and sold that, so I sent it off yesterday. The first thing I need to do is figure out a pattern for this. The housewife is just over a foot long, so 12 and a half inches. This little pocket is made by folding over the outside fabric. Another three and a quarter inches, plus folding it down to hem, so you have a finished hem there. So twelve and a half plus three and a quarter is fifteen and three quarters, plus that will give an inch for that, so we'll say sixteen, let's round up to seventeen inches long for the fashion fabric. The white fashion fabric and the batting will be cut the same length, they will be cut 12 and a half plus some for the seam allowance on this side. Let's do 13 inches there. This is four inches wide. You're gonna wanna make sure it's wide enough to hold your scissors to keep them hidden there. So four inches, we'll do a generous half inch seam allowance that we're probably gonna trim down so it'll be by five inches wide. Then I'm going to take my scissors. I'll take a pair of scissors, put them on a piece of paper, trace around them to figure out how big to make this little pocket for the scissor pocket. This pair of scissors is wider at the top though, so it will have to have a different pattern than the stork scissors. Then I'll just have to figure out what size I want to make these little needle book pages, and then I'll cut that out of my felt. If I can find my pinking shears, I'll use my pinking shears. But this doesn't unravel, so it's fine if it's just cut straight. 
So now I'm going to iron my fabrics to make sure they're nice and flat and then I will cut them all out. This project is actually a pretty good stash buster because it doesn't really matter what size it is. The only size that really matters is that it's wide enough for your scissors to fit in it. It doesn't really matter how long it is because you can adjust the, just the size of the pocket or the little needle book. So I am going to make two of them a little bit shorter because this fabric is only wide enough to do it 12 inches long instead of 12 and a half, but it doesn't matter, so that's cool. I'm going to use my rotary cutter and rotary mat, but of course you do not need to. You can just use scissors. So again, they're going to be 5 inches wide. Cutting out the front fabric will take a little bit more calculating because I want to make sure the horses run right down it and they're kind of not running straight on the salvage, so that'll have to be cut a little crooked. I'm gonna have to sort of piece out of this bit that was left over from a waistcoat I made. This one's a little bit narrower than it should be, so I'll just have to do narrow seam allowances on it. But again, I just want to use up this these scraps that weren't gonna be used for anything else. Remember these fashion pieces are gonna be 17 inches by 5 inches. Be sure to save the little pieces you cut off because you'll use those for your scissors. double fold over on the side that's gonna have the pocket and I stitched it down so that there's no raw edge in the pocket. I did that on all three of the fashion fabrics and then you need to get your ribbons and cut them down. I find about 20 inches works well. It needs to be long enough to fit all the way around to tie it up but also have a little bit extra to fold over to fit in the seam. Then I like to take a lighter and just hit the edge of the ribbon to stop it from fraying because these aren't natural fibers so it's synthetic ribbon so it just melts. Now that you have all the pieces cut out it's time for the trickiest part. Putting it together so that the pocket is on the right side and all the layers are in the right order. Lay down your fashion fabric with the pattern side up. Take your lining fabric and lay it on top. Lift this edge down Fold the pocket up so that the patterns are facing themselves. Fold that back down so you can see how high up to make your pocket. Take your ribbon that you're using to bind it with. Fold it in half so that one side is a little bit longer than the other. Tuck it underneath the two layers so that its tip is right up against the edge here. Put a pin in it. A little bit farther down so that you won't run into it with your sewing machine. Tuck it underneath the lining fabric. Lie the lining fabric on there real nice. Then take your batting and put it on top. This batting looks like it wound up a little bit long so I'm just going to trim that off there. When you stitch it, you're going to stitch up from the pocket side, across the ribbon side, and back down and stop there. You're not going all the way around. I'm someone who likes to use as few pins as possible, so I'm not even going to pin it together.
once you have your little kit sewn up, it's not a bad idea to kind of flip them around and make sure that you did put it together the right way. I already did that, so what I'm going to do now is trim the seam allowance off. I know I said I was going to do a half inch seam allowance, but it sure is hard for me to do that. I'm, I just always want to do a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to trim down the excess and then I'm going to do a little diagonal snip in the corners to reduce some bulk. And it's really okay to cut that little loop on the ribbon, that's fine. It's secure. Now it's time for the moment of truth and the big reveal. Flip it around. Kind of use your ribbon. Uh oh, did my ribbon get stuck in the seam? <gasps> my ribbon, the tip of my ribbon got stuck in the seam. Bummer. Gotta be careful of that. Then take your pin out. Guess I'm gonna have to. Rip that seam open and get that out of there. You can use something to help you turn out the corners. A chopstick, a ruler, a point turner. Careful if you use scissors so it can poke through the fabric. I'm gonna find something else. Oh. Chopsticks work well. And then you just flip this pocket around, turn the corners on that, you got a nice little sewing kit. Almost done. That worked out well pattern wise. Now that I have these sewn up, it's time to add the things that go inside of it, like the little scissor pocket and the needle book. I've got three different kinds of felt here, so I'm just going to figure out how much space the scissors will take up and then how much space I will have to put these in. The scissors might stick out a little bit on this narrow one, but at least this piece of fabric's getting used now. On the housewife that I have already, my needlebook pages are just over four inches by three, two and three quarter inches. I'm gonna do Probably something pretty similar to that, just over four inches. Maybe a little bit bigger on this one. I'm gonna do four and a half inches by just under three inches. I'm gonna cut out two sheets of it and sew it down. I decided I'm gonna make them three inches. Three inches by four and a half. show you how to make a pattern for the scissors pocket. Put your scissors on a scrap of paper, figure out how high you want your pocket to be. You need at least part of the scissors poking out so that you can tie the ribbon on it. You'll probably tie in the narrowest part there, so it'll be right there. Gonna need to come out a little bit farther. Then around your scissors. Fold it on the half with the side that you like more showing. Play out with your paper scissors. Cutting it on the fold like that will make it so it's symmetrical when you open it up. It looks pretty large, but let's see how it looks. I mean, I have plenty of room for that size of a pocket. And then it'll be sure to fit there. So, but I think I'm going to taper it down here a little bit more.
kind of be better. I've got a smaller one here for the stork scissors. Then you're just going to want to cut out one of whatever fabric you want the little scissors pocket to be in and then one of the backing, the like lining material. You can really use, if you have like a little scrap of some fabric that you love but you only have that much, this is a perfect thing to use it for. Or you can just use the same one like I am doing. Don't forget to leave room for a seam allowance though. I just went and traced my pattern pieces onto the wrong side of the fashion fabric. Kind of orienting it how it would look nice to have the pattern on it. Then I just cut out a chunk of the lining fabric. I'm not even going to cut it night neatly. I'm going to go and stitch on my stitch line here, leaving about mm, an inch, inch and a half open on the top. Then I will trim it down neatly, flip it inside out, iron this edge down, and see sew that up by hand. It's almost bedtime for the chickens, so they're just hanging out there and crowing. So now I have these sewn up, trimmed, pressed. I just need to sew these shut. Then I'm going to whip stitch around here and do a running stitch up there to attach those. Then I need to take my thin ribbon, I'm going to see if I have a green, but I'm going to take a thin ribbon and I'll just tack it on there. I'm just going to go through this layer. I'm not going to go all the way through to the outside because I don't want it to show. Then these will be done. I'm going to go do these by hand while on a video call with my friends because that's what we do in this age of social distancing. Here are my finished housewives. I got four of them ready to go. I already sent off the sailboat one to the person who won the auction for that. These three, I gotta wait for things to get back to normal and museums to be open again and then they will be for sale at Fort Nisqually. They all have their scissors and little needle books, little pocket to put whatever knickknacks, whoever has them, wants to in them. Thanks for joining me on this little sewing adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it's inspired you to sew your own little housewife. Again, the final measurements that I used were 5 inches wide and 17 inches long for the outside fabric. 13 inches by 5 inches for the batting and interior cotton fabric. It's a really easy project to whip up and quite useful to do some cabbage and stash busting. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and have a great weekend. Stay safe out there.